Microsoft continues to expand Xbox's functionality as we can now play Steam games on an Xbox console. So in the Alpha Skip Ahead program, there is an update to the Edge Chromium browser, which allows you to stream games through the browser, through GeForce Now and Google Stadia. And now it looks like it is actually functioning with Steam and you're gonna be able to stream your Steam library using Parsec in order to play these games on the Xbox. And what makes this all come together is that the browser now supports full keyboard and mouse. So this was shown off by The Verge and Tom Warren. And you can see here, he goes into the Edge browser and he's able to use the internet browser with full mouse and keyboard support. Like right here, he is typing in a Word document using a mouse and keyboard on the Xbox. And then goes further into trying to stream his Steam games and play them on PC. And to be able to do this, he logs into Parsec, which kind of uses your home computer as a remote desktop. And then he's gonna be able to access playing Counter-Strike directly from an Xbox console, which is extremely cool. On top of being able to play Steam games, he was also able to, like you saw, use Word Online, type messages into Discord chats, and even play some browser games, I guess, so Crunker and Quake JS because of the ability to have full mouse and keyboard support on the browser. And then on top of CS, the ability to play games like Death Stranding, Dota 2 were also accessible through Xbox. Now there are some issues right now because this is just a beta and this will probably be cleaned up and fixed as it moves forward. And that is that the virtual keyboard appears when you click and there are some latency and connectivity issues right now. But I think that will eventually go away as more people test this out and submit their feedback to Microsoft and as they improve the browser. What ties this all together too is the fact that we can see that Bill Spencer and Xbox are focusing on getting your PC games accessible through the cloud on an Xbox. So this person here asks, hi, Phil. Any chance we may see PC games on Xbox cloud gaming in the future? And Phil Spencer replies, yes, Azure helps. One of the reasons we push for cross save and don't want players to have to decide which versions of a cloud game they play unless they want to. Progress needs to just move with your account. Same with community, but PC games will come focused on console games now. And I think this is just the beginning of where we're going with xCloud and the ability to stream games and have access to your games on multiple devices. I know xCloud and Game Pass have been doing such a great job and it's already a great service with tons of value, but we're just at the beginning and this is more proof of it as we go through the comments. People are very excited for this and I would be pretty excited too to know that I'm gonna be able to access PC games on an Xbox whenever I want and kind of closing that gap between the console and PC space and then having the ability to access your PC stuff on an Xbox, even have mouse and keyboard support, just make it easier to function. And it makes a lot of sense with where Xbox is going with Xbox Game Pass and opening up their ecosystem to multiple devices and wanting people to be able to connect and play no matter where they are. So like this person says, this is a pretty good way to put it. So at some point in the future, we will be able to stream high-end PC games to our Xbox console. Sounds great. Hope that includes some console exclusives that have missed Xbox releases in the past. And one of the big games people have been wanting on an Xbox is Age of Empires. Maybe this is the way that they're going to do it or they'll just release it natively on Xbox. And then this person even says here, you're gonna be able to start playing Sony games that release on PC on an Xbox because Sony is starting to release their games onto PC. Days Gone, Death Stranding, Horizon. We're gonna see more of that. I strongly believe Sony is going to tap into that PC market because it's so big. And we're gonna see more of those first party PlayStation games coming to PC. And then you're eventually gonna be able to stream those games and play them on your Xbox. What else makes the Series X so great if it has this type of functionality is just the fact that, yeah, people could say it's just turning into a PC and why is there an Xbox? Well, you're paying $399 to get an extremely powerful, console more powerful than a lot of people's pcs and to get 
what is available within the Xbox Series X in a PC where you'd have to build it with different parts. It would cost a lot more than $399 and that value alone makes the Series X an awesome purchase. And we continue to see more xCloud and Xbox expanding across devices as this just came out and Apple devices now support the Xbox Series X wireless controller, which is a great thing. And this is obviously preparing for the fact that this xCloud is coming out for in a browser solution on Apple devices. And now people are going to be able to easily just connect an Xbox controller and access Xbox Game Pass through Safari on their iOS device and be able to experience Xbox. So it's continuously expanding. The strategy of Xbox going forward is get Xbox Game Pass onto as many devices as possible, allow as many people to be able to experience the games on the surface and don't limit people to a particular device. And I think it's a great strategy. I think that the more people get to experience the game, the better it is. There are tons of great games coming out for Xbox from Xbox Game Studios going forward. Now this strategy also I think brings a lot of worry into people's mind. Now this is a tweet from Adela Hemze. I don't, I'm not really sure if it's the right, but it says here, I love Game Pass, it's a nice thing, but there are many things for me and I'm a fan of Xbox consoles. Do you think focusing on this service will reduce the value of your Xbox? But I want your opinion of what I said because I fear loss of the Xbox. And I think a lot of people are starting to think that, well, why is there Xbox if it's gonna be available on everything? And I personally believe Xbox is going to be within the strategy for Microsoft for a very long time, even into the next generation. I think we'll see the removal of the disk drive completely, but we will still see a digital console. We will still see a Series S style of console and a Series X style of console without a disk drive because the Xbox console is just another entry and another gateway into their ecosystem. And it gives access to a ton of people who can't afford to build a PC and want to be able to natively download and play games on higher powered hardware rather than just streaming them through their phone. So I don't think there really is anything to worry about if you're somebody who loves the console experience. I'm one of those people who love the console experience and I would never want to see Xbox just become obsolete and go away. And to respond to this, it's a four part tweet, but basically here's the response from Jez. He says, xCloud is powered by Xbox consoles, not PC. This isn't an accident. They did it to ensure Xbox's future as a hardware paradigm, so stop worrying. And I strongly agree with what Jez is saying here. I think that people who are worrying about Xbox going away don't really need to worry. Xbox knows what they are doing. They see the sales of Xbox. They see people wanting Xbox, and I don't think they're going to remove that entryway into the Xbox ecosystem in a very long time. But this is just more accessibility and more features and more opening up of the platform and ecosystem to allow people to just do kind of what they want and, and use their console that they spend their money on in the ways that they want. And I absolutely love that. But that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you ever going to check this out? Do you want to play Steam games on your Xbox and plug in a mouse and keyboard to be able to access those games? I would love to hear all of your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and you like what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support and I will catch you in the next video.